2K Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Players' Championship. Today's coverage is about to start. Pleased you could join us for this third round action. Rich Beams, my sparring partner in the booth. I'm Luke Elby. Hope you're enjoying all the action. I know this player certainly has been rich because they've built this wonderful lead. Are you expecting them just to take the bit between the teeth and keep running with it? Well, that's what you expect them to do. But listen, we're playing golf, and golf is uh, about as predictable as the weather. I mean, unless you got a 50-50 chance of getting it right most days. So this player's got to keep their nose out in front and keep doing what they're doing because if they even remotely slow down and think about what they've accomplished, it's all over. I'm looking forward to today, that's for sure. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. And what's in front of them there, Henny? He's got, oh, I'd say roughly 120 here. Yeah, a quality shot from him. He'll be pleased. This putt is about 15 feet to the hole. This is their look at birdie. Oh, so close. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. And now that finds him in first place. Here we are at the second tee. Driver not necessarily required here because you have to shape your tee shot from right to left. And if you're a right-handed golfer, that's not the easiest thing to do. So lefties have a better opportunity, I think, of finding this fairway than most with driver. From there, a second shot over a long bunker to a green that's very narrow, dotted by pot bunkers. Truly is one of the coolest par fives on this layout. Handy effort, that one. Going for this green in two, Rich. It's an exciting but daunting task. The green is minuscule from back in the fairway. You know that you have a little bit room over to the left, but you're gonna fall off into a low area. And if you miss it out to the right, you're gonna find a very deep bunker on the right-hand side of the green. There's really no great miss around here, but if you're gonna go for it, you have to know that your short game is gonna bail you out no matter where you miss it. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and getting rewarded for it. So exciting to have an eagle putt here. This has a real chance. That's a fast start if I've ever seen one, Rich. Setting the tone early in this round. And let's have one more look at that shot. I need to see this again because I still can't believe they hold that. He sits in first position. Teeing off here at the third hole. Part of three, just 177 yards from the back, but this green is always firm. Be wary of that. It has got this thing dialed in here, looking good. Oh, that's a lovely looking shot into birdie range here at the third. Yeah, they're good momentum makers, those ones. Good putt for birdie. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. Next up is this par four hole. Just a small little twisty par four. Just going to take out a fairway wood, find the fairway, and from there you're going to have a small second shot, probably a wedge. 
three distinct sections to this green, the front, the right, and the back left, and all of them have their difficulties when hitting your approach shot into them. However, in my mind's eye, if you find the fairway, you should have a decent look for birdie. Second shot here on the fourth. He hit that pretty loose. Yep, that's a water ball. And here we are with their four. Oh, stop it. What a way to make your par. That looked good the entire way, Luke. That shot was dialed in. What an amazing shot. Let's take another look at that one. Perfect distance, perfectly judged. And look at that, straight in the hole. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. Huge mounding down the left-hand side that you want to avoid at all costs. The bunker down the right-hand side, to be fair, is not that bad. But a little further right of that, though, that's the water. You want no part of it. Second shot is downhill to a green, to be fair, that's mostly flat, runs from back left to front right, but one of the more benign greens on this layout. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Setting up here from about 145 yards. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. Well, that's beautifully judged. Full of confidence as well with their putter. Gotta like their chances. Three feet to go here to the hole. And after that top play, they currently hold top spot on the leaderboard with HB3 in second. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. I missed the tree. I thought that was a really cool feature of this hole. You had to flight it underneath the tree back in the day to find the fairway. The bunker down the left-hand side has been expanded quite a bit as the lake on the left-hand side has been added as well. The front part of this green is protected by tall palm trees that will certainly make you think on your second shots. This is a wonderful little par four. So lightning does strike twice? Absolutely insane. I, I've never seen anything quite like this. Oh, what a shot that was. Why don't we revisit the magic? Yeah, they were looking at an up and down, but just down. And as we look at the scoreboard, they're currently in first with Harold Varner III in second. Well, that's huge momentum they're bringing to this hole. Coming off the eagle, time to hit another good drive. Par four, 451 yards, all sorts of danger down the left-hand side. Hit your tee shot out to the right. Second shot, find the green, two putt, and sprint to the tee on the eighth.
Second shot here on the seventh. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Oh, look at this. Right down the throat. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. What an opportunity to make a birdie. And down it goes. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Par three, 237 yards in length. A brute, to say the least. It is a tough hole surrounded by bunkers. If you can make three here, you're a happy person. That one should find the surface. A great shot here at the eighth, and a chance for birdie. And just about eight feet left to the hole. This for back-to-back -back birdies. That line was looking good, wasn't it? Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. Teeing off now on the ninth hole. Oh, seems to have got a big piece of that one. Striped. A free time victor already this season. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Good shot there, Beamer. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? Setting up this putt 22 feet from the cup. That was a gallant attempt. That's great golf there. Almost an eagle. That will drop, and it will extend the lead. He's currently sitting in first place. Taking off now on the 10th hole. That's a nice looking tee shot, that one. Playing from around 150 yards here. Left yourself an opportunity. Twelve feet to the cup coming up. He's staring down a birdie putt here. This one's looking good. 
That was a top-level approach shot, but unfortunately, they walk off the green with a par. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. We have a par five on this one. Par five, 558 yards long. Avoid the fairway bunkers on the left-hand side, and you might have a hope of going forward in two. However, you better be brave, and you better know what you're doing, because this green will call you out on the second shots if you're not careful. It's like they got all of that one. That's on a good line. Yeah, they're planning an aggressive play here, guys. Going for it in two. Interesting choice of the driver here. They're in the bunker, but a chance to get up and down. Well, oh, this will be a big birdie here. Good putt to make. Go to your home ball. Go to your home. Oh, you like me and thought that had a chance. And that should secure the par on this one. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Let's see what happens here at the 12th. Par 4, 12th, a new design in the last couple of years. Water all the way down the left-hand side, but it's a drivable par 4. Most players will bail out to the right, but the brave ones will take on the green with their tee shots. Twos and threes are easy to come by, but so are fives and sixes if you get it out of position. That's a stonking drive. Time for the second shot at the 12. Got to admire that talent. Just green after green in regulation. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. And this is a really cool par three. You've got three distinct areas on the green, front right, all the way on the left-hand side, and the back right. Wherever they put the pin is going to dictate what shot shape you want to have into that green. I think it's a really cool design because it requires you to think about how you want the golf ball to land on the green and the way you want it to bounce. I think Pete Dye did a great job in designing this green. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Just got to use the touch of a feather. Barely has to blow on it. This is just downhill. Oh, yeah, this is tracking nicely. Mark it down. That's six birdies today. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. And now that finds him in first place. After a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. If you hit it down the left-hand side, the golf ball will chase a long way, but you'll be blocked out by some trees. You hit it out to the right, you're going to be on top of a mound, but you'll have a really good idea of what's in front of you. This hole historically plays as one of the toughest ones on the back nine, and it's all because of where that green sits. It sits from right to left, 
with a decent amount of movement in it. It is not straightforward at all. This hole causes players all kinds of problems. This looks to be heading to the green. <laughs> Terrific shot and a chance for birdie coming up here at the 14th. This putt right on 12 feet to the hole. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. This one has eyes for the hole. Oh, terrific. What an effort. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Well, let's get amongst this 15th hole. Players do hit through a shoot off this tee shot, which makes it a little bit simpler, I believe, for the players. Bunker down the right-hand side is no good because you'll have trees blocking you out with your second shot. If you miss it left into the pine straw, now you've got some trees blocking you out there, so finding the fairway is imperative. This green is no fun. You find the center of the green and you might be able to putt every single day, but in all reality, you have to find the correct section in order to give yourself the best look at making a putt. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. Oh, that's a great approach shot. A chance for a birdie if this goes down. And that's eight birdies today. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Just a few holes to play. Let's see how you handle the 16th hole. Fun-filled adventure waits. Find the fairway, and let's see how brave you are. Do you want to take on the second shot and try and knock it on the green? Of course you do, but watch out. Lots of water awaiting a wayward second. Well played, mate. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Using the big muscles to get it home in two there. Setting up miles from the hole. That'll sting a bit. This putt is about eight feet. This is what they have left for birdie here. Yeah, this is looking nice. Well, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. He sits in first position. off here on the 17th hole when you play here in a practice round it looks like you could just throw it on there but when you're in a tournament round it doesn't even look like it exists it, the hole changes so much when the tournament starts that's what i love about it you just add 35,000 people who are having some fun and ready to heckle you if you knock it in the water eh, good luck enjoy Oh, what a wonderful shot into the 17th and sets up another putt inside birdie range. Nice line. Yeah, you like the look of that right off the blade. Still in the lead now after that hole.
Well, here we are, the 18th hole. It's just one of the most difficult, visually intimidating holes I think you'll ever face in your life. Somehow, try and hit it down the right-hand side of the fairway, keep it out of the rough, and from there, hit it out to the right-hand side of the green somehow, also keeping it out of the rough or that pot bunker short right. Listen, you'd be happy to make five here, that's for sure. Fours are magnificent. Threes are unicorns. They really don't happen that much. It is such a difficult, demanding finishing hole, probably one of the toughest in championship golf. From around 140 yards here, Good shot there. What's in front of them, Henny? This is a 12 footer here. Well, that's a nice line. And with that, this round comes to a close.